So I'm getting ready to do the zodiac sign Aquarius. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Whoa. So let's see, what do we have for Aquarius? You have a new opening. So it's like there's something that you have done like you have um it's like when a when a new door is opening for you you have to close out another door you have to be confident that once you close a door out another one will open for you and it's only for the best you could be someone that is solely focusing on bettering yourself. You've ended out some type of cycle and you've moved forward. You're accepting how, you know, you're accepting something that took place or how things turned out for what it is. You're not harboring any resentment. You've just moved on and it's, it's, you're in this, um, like you're, you're in this peaceful type of energy, a better space in your life. You're acknowledging that whatever it is that you went through, these were challenges. These were lessons that needed to be learned. Yeah. And you definitely, if you've ended something out, separated from something, and it was not of your highest good, you realize that your peace comes from within you. So you have to separate yourself from different things that just weren't... Um, weren't giving you any peace. Now it's like a new level. You're on a new level or you restarted a cycle or something like that. Yeah, you have not you you have acknowledged that that was an opportunity for you to learn some type of lesson. You've learned the lesson, you've closed the door and another door is opening for you. You have the ace of wands yeah like you're starting over you're taking action towards different things this could be um an idea or something like that that you were just holding off or unsure about trying to decide something now you're taking action you have the seven of swords So this is definitely Aquarius energy, the Seven of Swords energy. Um, somebody could feel like you were, yeah, you've definitely got, you're guarding yourself or you've guarded yourself from some type of deceit or something like that. This could be betrayal or some type of trickery. Now, somebody could have tried to cause some type of deception towards you and they felt like they could get away with it. But you were able to guard your energy. You were being protected from this. You have the three of cups. Yeah, somebody had caused some type of deception. They felt like they got away with it. They were... You know, making sure that they covered their traps. And they were celebrating. They were happy. But this caused some type of ending. This person did not know that you had... Um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting this or um, I, do, I do not mean to laugh. But you had went through some type of transformation. So maybe this is what the Seven of Swords is. They feel like you've... Um, strategically guarded your energy if this is someone who was trying to like play in your energy cause some type of trickery or something like that you have the page of wands yeah 
It's like whatever they did and they felt like they got away with, you kept focusing on some type of goal or some type of idea that you were taking action towards. You have the King of Swords. And then you have the King of Cups. So whoever this King of Cups is, is this King of Swords. These are the same. This is the same person. This person could be someone who wants to reach out or say something. This Three of Cups could mean a reconciliation. But somebody needed to think something through, give something some type of thought. Now, this could be someone that was very guarded um, from their emotions. Because it's like the King of Cups popped out with the King of Swords. So somebody is wanting to speak some type of truth or say something after being so guarded. You have the sun. This is something that this person had been hiding. I mean, the moon. Whoever this person is, they could be a Pisces. But this was some type of secret. Then you have the devil. And then you have judgment. Now, whoever this person is, this could be either somebody that have been hiding some type of emotions for you and it they have grew very strong. Like they've woken up to something. But this also could be somebody that you cut off with the King of Swords. Like this person was hiding the fact that they um they were playing with some type of magic. And if you closed the door, you know, ended the cycle out with that person, they didn't expect this. It's like right when you close that door. They ended up going through judgment, like going through a lot of karma. And they it's like they feel like you were in the seven of swords energy some type of way. Now, this is someone who could have felt like they would always be able to reunite with you, reconcile with you or something like that. But they didn't know something completely ended out. Like you've went through a transformation, whatever you went through while you were attached to that person. You didn't harbor any resentment. You didn't go back and forth with that person. You just focused on yourself. But this person is under judgment for something that they were doing that was hidden for a long time. And this was magic, like dark magic. You have the hangman. Yeah, this is somebody that definitely wants to keep you waiting. Or they felt like they can have you stuck. But they didn't know they were they were in this hangman energy and you were on the chariot. Yeah, you could have definitely found this out. Um, you have high priestess being here. So you could have found out you could be this high priestess. Like you found out whatever it is that was hidden. You're more aware. You're, def you're definitely someone that uses your intuition. This is why you, you were being guided to leave that person behind and to cycle out with that person. But then you started using your intuition, like going within, finding out a lot of different things that you did not know, things that were a mystery to you. Yeah, you could have woke up to the fact that you, you have psychic abilities. You're someone that is spiritually gifted. And you have the Knight of Pentacles and then you have the King of Pentacles. They have the Knight of Cups. So whoever this King of Pentacles is, this is someone who have been taking their time to come towards you. Um, this is someone other than whoever the person is that you ended something out with. This person wants to express something to you. This could be a romantic offer. And then you have the Eight of Swords. So this person was slowed down because they ended up getting caught up in something. Maybe this person was trapped in fear. Maybe they were doubting something. 
Maybe they sat back and overthought something and they allowed that to keep them in the Eight of Swords. You have justice. This could have been a legal situation. And then you have the Six of Wands. Now, somebody could have been, they could have been slowed down because of some type of legal matter. But with the Six of Wands being here, it's like they came out having some type of success. Now, if this is you that went through some type of legal situation, you've came out of it. And this could be someone that um, caused some type of deception to you and they just felt like, they would get away with it. You wouldn't know. So this person thought they, with the seven of swords and this eight of swords, they thought that you were stuck. But they didn't know something was already balanced out for you. Because you ended up closing out some type of cycle and walking into a whole new cycle. And you just started focusing on some type of goal, um, something that you wanted to create. You were in a totally different energy. Yeah, you're being moved by your intuition. And it's like they ended up in this eight of swords and you're in this justice and six of wands energy. Like you've came out victorious, whatever it is that you were working on or creating that have that is successful for you or getting ready to be successful. Like something is being balanced out for you after this happened. And as I said, this king of uh, uh, pentacles, they were coming towards you with a romantic offer, but they got slowed down. Could have been some type of legal situation for them or a legal situation that you dealt with slowed that person down. But they see that you came out victorious. They so have marriage. And then you have false person. And then you have unexpected income popping out in the reverse. Wow. So this person got slowed down by somebody that they got into a commitment with. This could have been somebody they jumped into a marriage with. And they were expecting to receive some type of unexpected income. Um from that person, whoever the person, this false person is, both these people were expecting to gain something out of this marriage and they didn't get anything. So whatever one person thought that the other person had, they didn't have. Whatever the other person thought that, you know, the other person had, they didn't have. Wow. You have toil and labor. Yeah, it's like you don't if you don't work, you don't obtain or gain anything. This is someone who did not expect to work. So somebody was very impatient. They feel like they can rush into a commitment or a marriage and they would, you know, gain some type of unexpected income. But you have to work to to receive something. Now, if this is someone that was trying to hurry up, jump and um, keep that trap, that person before they came toward you because they knew they were coming toward you for a love offer. Um, and that person would be moving on. They felt like that person would be gaining some type of unexpected income by coming towards you. So they wanted to prevent it. Now this person is seeing that they didn't, they weren't going to receive anything. Whatever they wanted to receive for their self, they have to put in the toil and labor, like the hard work. You have privileged lady. And then you have the main female. Then you have family room. And then expectation. So yeah, whoever this, whoever the privileged lady is, this could be you. Um, Cause when I asked who was the privileged lady, what is the privileged lady expectation popped out? 
So you're the one that this person was coming towards. They figured that they can stop this person, trap this person, and they had help either from one of their family members. This could be a sister or a cousin or something like that. Or this could be this person that was in this Knight of Cups energy coming towards you for a romantic offer. This could be their sister, their cousin, a family member was helping this false person. Like they were working with this false person to try to have you at a stalemate. And that person would be in this Eight of Swords energy. Now, this could be a spiritual connection. And somebody could have definitely knew. And they were trying to create some type of blockages, try to trap that person, have that person stuck. And they had one of that person's, this person that wanted to come towards you with a romantic offer, family members, like close family members helping them. You have change and then you have message. You have great fortune and then main mail. Yeah, somebody somebody realized that, yeah, this is definitely like a sibling that was helping a false person try to keep another person trapped because they felt like they would be able to gain some type of great fortune. But this person is realizing that they're not going to gain anything until they make some type of change. They have to change the person that they're attached to, change the people that they're attached to in order to have whatever it is that's destined for them. Yeah, something has to come to a complete end in order for them to get on the right path. Yeah, because it's like this person is in an energy where they're, this is like the Ace of Pentacles. So if they're supposed to be in and out of cycle, walking into a whole new cycle, they're not able to. They're not able to be gifted or receive the abundance that God want them to have for in and out of cycle and making a change that was necessary for them to make. You have family, and then you have romantic feelings. So yeah, whoever this family member is, they knew that this person is someone who had fallen in love with you. They have romantic feelings for you, and they could have been um, confiding in this family member. This family member was telling everything to this false person. You have proposal. And then you have friends. Yeah, so it's like the family and friends knew about the way this person felt about you. Then you have faded meeting. And then you have regret. Yeah, these people that were trying to... Um, have this person in the energy of the Eight of Swords, feeling like they can't see properly, they cannot move properly. They're in regret because they realize something is destined to take place. Yeah, you could be this person's soulmate, this person's twin flame. There's a soul contract between you and this person. And they're stuck in guilt. They feel like they made a bad decision. Yeah, somebody definitely ended up going through some type of karma. Divine intervention is here. If something is fated to happen and you're trying to cause obstacles with storm warning being here, blockages, something has to be released in order for things to be balanced out with legal matters being here. They're in regret because they were not able to stop something that was destined to take place. And this is sad. It's like God had to step in 
issue out karma to whoever these people are so they could surrender. And that person could surrender and let go of the people that were trying to keep them stagnant, trying to keep them stuck. This is someone who had to realize they deserve better with grass is greener being here. In order to be able to move forward. Yeah, these are people that thought they had the power to the power of God to be able to change another person's destiny with some type of false marriage or false relationship that two people weren't going to get anything out of. Now, there's definitely lessons that have to be learned, you know, challenges that people will face throughout life. But they didn't expect that to be the outcome. They definitely did not expect for, you know, them to go through some type of judgment and something will be balanced out for whatever it is that they did and it would be issued in karma. Yeah. 